what is going on everybody welcome back to another video in this video I am going to show you how to get a weekly income from selling puts in the most basic two ways possible with the best odds for the return on your money so with that being said let's go ahead cue the intro and get right into this video Yo, I've been getting dirty money Okay, guys, you guys see that I have QQQ set up. I just prefer the indexes so that this is the NASDAQ. We also have the S&P 500 SPY or the SPIDERS, depending on what you call them. But I'm going to stick with QQQ right now because this is the one that I've been absolutely dominant on this year. And I'm going to show you two ways. One way if you have all the money to do this and another way if you don't have the money to start at this level. So... Even if you don't, if you only have a hundred dollars, you can still make these trades, and then you can vary based on your budget. And they're high probability trades, and that's what really matters. So, how are you going to get weekly income if you don't have the money? So, we're going to go to Robinhood here. You, you guys see, I have it pulled up here. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the queues. Now, the big thing here is I sell options on red days if i'm selling puts if i'm selling calls i sell them on green days and you'll see why later and everything the more you do this but this is just the basics so qqq is at 4 11 30 it's where it closed at today first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to options now there's two ways you can set this up depending on your risk level and how much you want to make a week that's really going to that's going to depend on your budget so First thing I'm going to do is, is I'm not a risky person. Just so you guys all know, I'm not big on risk. I have made a large chunk of money in my life. And now, really, I'm just trying to make as much income off of it as I can while staying safe as possible. So you're going to hear the term a 20 delta or a 80% probability. And you can make it even better, but that's just kind of my range. And you'll see, you'll see why as we go through this. So I go 36 days out here on Robinhood and again I use Robinhood because most people start trading on Robinhood the fees are much lower I don't think it's a bad idea I don't but I don't think it's a bad idea so first thing we're gonna do here is I'm gonna find an option that I want to sell today was a red day as we can go over here and see we closed down this red day here I think that's a very important thing now I'm going to go I'm first thing I'm gonna show you how to do this is with the simple way and then I'm gonna instantly show you how to do it the cheaper way and I'm gonna show you exactly how so I'm gonna click sell is the first thing and then we want to make sure it's a put because I want to be able to buy the stock worst case scenario so and I don't think that the whole market's going to come crashing down and we're gonna have a black swan event if you don't know what a black swan event is it's just when absolutely everything is killed it's basically the market goes into a depression and crashes if you guys like those words um i per i really don't so you guys see i have chance of profit up here on robin hood and so we're going to go to this 80 percent now you're going to see this delta is actually 23 so i'm actually going to go up here to this 397 28 now what i would do in order to make this weekly is what would happen is every week I would put on that new trade. So that's going to cost a lot more money. I understand that because if you click this one, you're going to realize, oh, I need almost $40,000 in order to do this trade. Don't worry. Don't discourage. There's an easy, easy fix to this. We're going to keep this trade here. And again, $397.28. So you guys got to remember, it's got to come all the way down to about right here where I'm at. Yeah, about right there for me to lose it all. So, and you guys got to remember, the odds are not very good of that happening. So, the next thing we're going to do is if you don't have the $40,000, which 99% of Americans don't, which is okay. It's okay. We're going to reduce your risk dramatically with one simple thing. We are going to create a buy. And we are going to buy one that is cheaper then this 297. So what I like to do is I'm going to come out here further. So I'm going to go and why this is like this and not normal round numbers like normal, I believe is because of the dividend that they announced today. So I'm going to go. So if you were looking for a cheaper one here, you guys are going to see this. Now you're only going to make $4, but 
but your max loss is $41. Now let's go out a little bit more. Again, now you're making $21 and you're risking $124. That's a much better return. If I think we can all agree it's a much better ROI. So now again, if you have a couple hundred bucks or you know you got 500 bucks, you can go out. What I like to do is one, two, three, four, five. I will come out here. Now you're seeing I'm going to make $66 for $400. I love that return compared to the other one. Now, what I would do now, of course, on this one is I would either do more contracts, which is what a lot of people do. If you have a bigger account, you know, you have 20 grand, 50 grand, you can either do one single one of the weekly or you can make it less. So this is a simple trade here. You can do this one. Now, what happens if you just want to do weeklies now you guys can change this date and go back up to seven days which is every week every Friday you can do this and it would work the same exact way I don't like it because I want more wiggle room I would rather layer my trades out in dates collect my income still every week but make sure I got a little bit more room to breathe especially in low volatility areas meaning that the market's really just not doing a whole lot like it has during Christmas and stuff I am okay with being out a little bit further because it's gonna buy me that further out price so the time wise I'm basically getting some more time so again we're just gonna get rid of this one and I'm gonna layer it so I would do this trade this week and then next week, I would go out to the 50-day one. And, you, and you'll end up realizing is I don't let these expire. So my goal here is not $0.66 cents on this one. I'm actually only looking for about $0.30 cents on this one. I will close this one at $0.30, cents, or which equals out to $30 in options money. I think that's a great return on $400 for... And it's probably going to be less than 36 days. I'll probably get half of that in probably the next 15 to 20 days. So I'll still have 10, 15 days left on this. And I'll make a solid return on my money. And then I'll be able to layer another one out further. And I just keep that snowball going, guys. That's where you're going to get your weekly income. But for those of you that are like, no, I'm going to go all in on it. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't advise you guys to make any trade. But if you wanted to do a seven-day exactly weekly, and you're going to see what I'm saying here when I show you this, is right here is where the price is. We want to sell a put, and we're going to go out for chance of profit at 80. I would probably be more looking at 90 if I'm going weeklies, but you're looking at 401. That's the difference here. So, again, I'm just going to put a line here so that we all can see it. You were up here, and now you're actually going to go, it's almost 402, and it's not going to add me another one. 40, basically right there. So you guys are buying, you guys, yourself more, basically more droppage in order to collect more money now and you're gonna have gamma risk on top of this but that's a whole different video I don't want to go into that it's just more detail but again $35 you can collect this for 40,000 if you want but again if you want to make it cheaper which we always like making it cheaper absolutely you can go here and make four cents for a hundred bucks I wouldn't recommend that one at all. I mean, if, if I'm trading this in my account, I'm probably one, two, three, four, five, and I'm really looking to do this. I'm going to go make 20 bucks for $400 and I'm going to do that a week. But again, it only takes one of those weeks to get killed on. That's where it becomes a problem and why I don't do the weeklies on the indexes. If I'm going to go do weeklies, it's going to be on a stock that I can do a cash secured put meaning you don't get to buy this insurance down here you are only selling this and I would have to buy it at the 40178 price that is the big key difference here again a cash secured put is one that if it if the stock comes down to this price and now I have to buy at my expiration date I now have to buy it at that price but then Again, that's not a big deal to me because I want to own it. 
and then I'm going to do a covered call on it, which can I have plenty of videos on this, and I can do another video on that if somebody leaves a comment below. No problem there. But that's a cash secure put. What we are doing is doing a vertical spread where we are selling the premium, and then basically, which premium is insurance, pretty much, and then we're going and buying insurance lower. And again, you can collect 13 cents for 286. Those are the difference here. There is a pure put that we're selling, which is just a cash secured put. And then we are running a vertical spread, which does theoretically the same thing, but with much less risk and much less buying power. Those are the differences here in these trades. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys got something out of this. Again, if you have questions, please leave a comment below. I will always answer them. I absolutely love talking with you guys and talking about trading because um, not many people actually do it. And not a lot of people are willing to sit down and have a actual conversation about these. So thank you guys all, and I will see you guys in the next video.